feel it's important to be a teacher because as a teacher you can really help uh, shape kids, help kind of direct them and lead them to uh, what, where they want to go and how they want to act their, and live their lives. I chose to be a teacher because when I was in high school I had a teacher that kind of changed my life and made me decide that I wanted to be a teacher. I enjoy being around kids, I like giving back to the kids and helping them you know, maybe change their life or have a positive influence in their life. I also like to coach and this was the easiest opportunity to be around the kids and be in the coaching field. Um, I'm, I'm from the area. Uh, I'm originally from Argyle, um, which is not that far away. Um, and I was looking for a small school but yet bigger than Argyle, um, which is very small, um, and this job came open, and it's been a perfect fit for me. I love Broadhead. I love being here. I have become a better teacher over the years, um, and so there was a lot of uh, there was a big learning curve. So at the beginning of my career, I was learning right along with the students. Um, so I was looking at the book ahead and trying to learn the material, and then being able to teach it, um, which was kind of an interesting thing, um, but. Uh, I, I think I got a little bit better. I think I w was, uh, am a little bit better teacher than I was at the beginning of my career. Um, but I, I really appreciated interacting with the students. I think I said that in the previous question. Um, I, I really enjoy being able to have a conversation, especially with my psych psychology and sociology, my senior level classes. Um, it's fun to have real discussions about real issues um, and being able to um, get kids to think differently and then for have them to affect the way I think as well. Uh, I had two main influences other than my parents. My parents were really big influences about making a difference in someone else's life. But my other, the other two influences that I had were actually band directors I had. One in high school, my high school band director really motivated me to become a teacher and in college um, I had a really good high school, a uh, really good college band director that really did a lot to influence who I am as a teacher. I have been a teacher for 12 years. This is my second year at Broadhead. Six years with um, substitute teaching and, and the elementary and the high school experience is over 30 years. And this is my 17th year of teaching overall. I taught five years at a smaller district in the southwest corner of Wisconsin, but this is my 12th year at Broadhead. This is my sixth year here at Broadhead High School. This is my fourth year in Broadhead. I truly enjoy working with students and wanting to help them understand what they're learning. Um, if it's a little more difficult, I can modify and help with that. I also want students to understand how important they are and I like to encourage them. My first day teaching is always, it's the very first days are, are very kind of difficult because you you're trying to get to know new people and, and things like that. Um, and you, you learn every day. What, what you can and cannot do, and you, it, every day is a learning experience. So the first couple of days are always rough and rocky, but um, it, it, was, it was definitely challenging at first, but it, as time went on, it got easier. Uh, I think qualities of a good teacher would be they need to be dedicated, hardworking, um, they need to be caring for kids, you know, to create a fun learning environment, they also need to be strict, and basically just try to make the classroom fun for them so they're willing to learn. The biggest dream a teacher has, probably retiring somewhere on the beach. <laughs> the biggest dream that a teacher could have is that every student is able to achieve what they should achieve. Um, that they actually reach their full potential. I love to see success stories of students that I used to have. Um, and so I think that's going to be the biggest dream for any teacher is to see their students accomplish what they should. Um, my biggest dream as a teacher is to make an impact on students' lives, to, to be there for them when they need help, but also kind of sh help show them how, how to live their life and, and, and prepare them for the next step in their life. The thing I like most about my job is that I get to work with all kinds of different people. Um, I love working with the kids and collaborating with the grown-ups, so mainly just working with people.
Well, in the art department, I think the biggest accomplishment has been all the fundraising we've done to get some really good equipment and textbooks and have a great program. Um, my personal um, accomplishment has also been teaching 15 years at the elementary, subbing, substitute teaching for six, and then teaching 10 years here at the high school. My most positive teaching experiences have been working with kids who maybe had some hesitation at first, either to me or to the class, um, or maybe just uh, negative experiences in school, and actually seeing them really turn around and enjoy the class or enjoy school or at least be successful in, in an area in their lives. I haven't had a lot of negative teaching experiences. Uh, in my first year or two, I had some students who were very negative, um, that weren't very respectful, but uh, I have not had really negative experiences since. My biggest challenge is paperwork and um, finding time to do a good job in that area. But I just really and truly love teaching here at the high school. I try to motivate my students to become active learners in my classroom by giving them tasks that relate to them and relate to their lives. I try to get them up and moving around and doing different types of activities. Um, I try to make learning fun for students. I'm sure it's not every day, but uh, we try to make learning fun in science uh, by trying to do hands-on activities and labs, um, things you can see, and trying to keep uh, a good sense of humor in class. I try to make uh, learning fun. Um, I find my subject to be a lot of fun because I find it to be really interesting. Um, but I try to, to vary things up. I try to have discussions. I try to have um, student input. Um, I try to uh, throw games in there once in a while for, just to change things up so it's not always the exact same thing day after day. Um, and I find it to be fun and I enjoy interacting with the students as well so I think the interaction and the, the personal side of, of um, communication, how we can just sit there and talk to one another I think helps a ton. If most people fail then clearly something went wrong with the lessons and then at that point we have to back up and um, relearn material or try it in a different way. I have learned how to relate to my students. Um, sometimes students uh, can have different approaches to problems which uh, are easier to understand so it's good to learn those things. Um, I put a ton of hours in. Um, I work at home quite a bit um, perfecting my lesson plans and what I want to be teaching. Um, I We'll come in early on some days to get everything set up. I, yeah, there's a lot of hours that students have no idea actually happens with teachers. I am Mr. Jarvis and I teach physics, chemistry, uh, general science, and life science uh, sometimes at Broadhead High School. Uh, my name is Mr. Meyer and I am the health teacher at Broadhead High School. Hi, my name is Ms. Lawrence and I'm a Spanish and English as a second language teacher in Broadhead at the high school. Uh, my name is Mrs. Cole and I'm a teacher here at the high school. I am Barbara Miller and I'm an art teacher here at Broadhead High School. I'm Paul Richard. I am teacher. Stephanie Hurt. I am teacher. Hello, I'm Jason Reister and I'm a teacher.